I still have two movies left to watch in the Rudy Ray Moore catalog, but this so far has got to be one of the worst fucking movies ever made. Real talk. Dolomite 2, The Human Tornado, is a sequel to the 1975 smash hit cult classic Dolomite, starring Rudy Ray Moore. This sequel, it, there's no, it has nothing to do with the first movie except for the name of Dolomite. How the hell can, I, you know, I don't even know how to talk about this fucking movie. I really don't. I'm watching this the whole time and I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> This is on a level of so bad. Dolomite itself is a bad movie, don't get me wrong. I said it's probably the worst movie that I will ever give an A to. But there was just so much to like about it. Some movies just have a charm to it, just such a likability, where even if it's bad, you can't help but to like it. And that was the first Dolomite. The Human Tornado. I think Rudy Ray Moore helped write the movie, but when I say the filmmakers that put that together have lost their fucking minds. I don't know what kind of drugs was around back in the 70s. I know they had acid and shrooms and weed and coke, heroin and shit like that. I don't know what hallucinogens these people were taking. But whoever put this movie together, including Rudy Ray Moore, was on some serious fucking drugs. Movie starts out, Dolomite is on, I guess, a tour. Because uh, I keep seeing the costume changes, so I'm assuming... There's multiple days and weeks that's going by. He's on tour, going from nightclub to nightclub, doing his routine. So they show him doing his uh, comedy routine, roasting the audience. And between him doing his, his comedy shit, there's a random chick shaking her ass. And then he'll cut back to him doing comedy. And then he'll go back to a girl shaking her ass again. This goes on for like a few minutes. The tour is now over. He goes to celebrate with his, his entourage, his crew, which includes a very young Ernie Hudson. Yes, pre-Ghostbusters, Winston Zedmore is in this movie. It must have been his first one. So they're having a, a, a tour wrap-up party, and they decide to party with some, with some white girls. One of the groupy white girls makes it to Dolomite's room and wants to give him some, give him peace. All right, cool. Dolomite says, like, tired, but, you know, let's get this over with. They do their thing. Word gets back to the town sheriff, town sheriff comes with his deputies and they catch uh the the sheriff catches his wife in the bed with dolomite has his deputy kill the wife blow her brains out dolomite uh he he, he flees the scene butt ass naked <laughs> in one of the most ridiculous scenes you'll ever see it, it, it's not gonna do justice for me to tell you i just have to show you this shit So I'm thinking, okay, so this is going to be a chase movie where the white sheriff has to uh, chase Dolomite through the whole movie. No, 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 no. That's just a subplot. The main plot of this movie is that this new club owner, this white club owner, takes over Dolomite's club, takes Queen B and, and the rest of the girls, and kidnaps two of his girls. So while Dolomite's doing his comedy thing and, and some ridiculous shit, I can't even... I, it's hard for me to talk about this movie. So, while Dolomite's on his own adventures, the club that he so cared about in the first movie just got taken over, his girls are kidnapped, and then about halfway through the movie, now he decides, okay, I'm gonna do something about this, and I'm gonna go after this guy and get my girls back. This movie had none of the charm of the original, but I will give it this much. I laughed at how ridiculous this fucking movie is. You, you, you think the movie's going in one direction, and then it goes into another direction. You think it's about this, but then it goes into a whole bunch of weird shit. Probably the craziest scene in this movie is there's an interrogation scene. Dolomite goes undercover, and he goes after the main old lady of the guy that he's pursuing, the, the guy that took over the club, 
and he questions her about where his whereabouts. And the way he does this is he screws her brains out. And what's got to be one of the most bizarre sex scenes you'll ever see in a movie, including porn. The fight scenes. The fight scenes are sped up, okay? So they, they have the classic kung fu movie sounds, you know. They speed it up. They speed it up, and I am bullshitting. Dolomite does this thing where he's getting in his kung fu stance and he's doing this shit. Would you all hear? Holy shit. Even Rudy Ray Moore's acting. Rudy Ray Moore. Rudy Ray Moore has never been a thespian. Okay. But in this movie, he just seems like so uninterested in doing this movie. I felt like this is almost a cash grab to just uh, piggyback off of the success of the first movie because there were times we act like he just didn't care. You watch that first one, you can feel his passion and trying to make that movie something. And this one, he just said, fuck it, you know? <laughs> there were a few times where he would do his classic rhyming and shit like that. He think he's bad and ain't got no claim. I'm gonna wrap this shotgun up his motherfucking ass. In one of the worst endings you'll ever see in a movie. When the movie went off, I said, what? <laughs> I said, what? The movie ends with, okay, Dolomite gets his girls back. Good for him. Everything works out at the end. He loses one of his partners. One of his partners gets shot. And uh, he has a final standoff with the white sheriff whose wife he fucked. The sheriff is chasing him in the car. Dolomite gets out. They start blasting at each other. The sheriff shoots Dolomite several times. Falls on the ground presumed to be dead I said so this is how we're going to end the movie with him killing Dolomite walks over to him the sheriff walks over to him talks his shit and then he leaves and then voiceover Dolomite, Dolomite's on the ground dead Voice, voiceover says ah you thought I was dead didn't you well I'm not dead I'm the human tornado he sits up opens his jacket up to show no bullet holes I'm assuming whatever the hell he was wearing was bulletproof, or maybe he's he's just bulletproof himself. He opens the jacket up, starts laughing, ah, <laughs> and then it freezes. Roll credits. So I guess they were setting up for a Dolomite three, which never happened. The third movie is Petey Wheatstraw, The Devil's Son-in-Law, which I'm gonna have to get through. I watched that once before, and it was silly back then. I'm going to have to check this out again. <laughs> Rudy Ray Moore just said, fuck it. <laughs> he just said, fuck it. I'm just bearing everything. Literally. He bears everything in this movie. There's at least uh, four or five scenes where you see his black ass on screen. And I'm like, dude, I don't want to see your ass. He has no problem taking his clothes off, man. <sighs> so, y'all. Dolomite 2, the human tornado. <laughs> Gets a fucking F. <laughs> oh my god. I went from giving Dolomite an A to giving the human tornado a fucking F. This shit is fucking insane and yeah. Horrible, y'all. See, so, yo, look. That's what I got for the human tornado, y'all. So, what are you guys' thoughts? Uh, have you seen the movie? I do recommend watching it. Even though I gave it an F, I do, I do recommend watching it just so you can see how atrocious it is. All right? That's all I got, y'all. Comment freely below. Thank you as always for watching. Pray for me that I get through P.D. Wheatstraw, the devil's son-in-law, and then I got the disco godfather after that. Holy shit. So, y'all, this is Rashad G. Signing out. <laughs> he does.
does that in the movie. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.